Welcome everyone to this latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Welcome everyone to the next episode of Jim and Java. It's always an enjoyable time when I can take a few minutes and answer your questions that you submit to us. If you've got questions, please be sure to reach out to me either in the comment section below on my email at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com or on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies, or on Twitter at DevFStrats, and use the hashtag Jim and Java. This is a fun time of the year as we start to head into the end of the year and end of the year giving time. It's a fun time, but it's also a very busy time. And that relates to our first question for the day. Our question for the day is from Jack in Lake Villa, Illinois. And Jack asked the question, what things do we do now to prepare for year-end giving season? Well, Jack, thank you so much for that question. I appreciate that. And stay tuned to this channel, Development Effectiveness Strategies, because I've got some videos coming up in the next couple of weeks that will outline in specifics exactly what I recommend uh, for year-end in detail, step-by-step. -step. And also, uh, I will talk a little bit about a matching gift program because I believe that using matching gifts at year end is one of the best things we can do. But let's address that question right away today. I would say as you start to move into the end of the year, the last three months of the year are an important time for most nonprofit organizations. I would make an attempt to at least reach out one more time between now and the end of October in reaching out to individuals who you may not have talked to in a while and share some of the exciting things your organization's doing. Everyone always wants to know how their money is being spent and what effectiveness is, is happening, what successes are happening with your organization. And that usually includes lives changed. And if you can give very specific stories of individuals, including using first names and maybe even forwarding pictures of what is happening and what has happened. That'll make a big difference as you talk with your partners. And then what I would do is I would begin from those calls that you made early October uh, until the end of October and start at the beginning again and begin to call throughout the month of November with a very specific ask for people. Um, two things you need to be very specific about. You need to be specific about a project or a program that you're trying to raise money for. And generally, that will be something that you'll either be kicking off in the new year or something that needs funding right now. So something that may need continuing. And then secondly, you need to be very specific about the amount of money that you ask them. And I generally look at their, their past giving history for a good indication of their willingness to give a gift. So if they gave $1,000 last year, you might want to ask them to give that much or possibly, Mr. or Mrs. Jones, would you be willing to give an even larger gift of $1,500 or $2,500 at this time? Being very specific with them will help them to understand what your expectations are. And our partners really, believe it or not, they want to give us what we want. They're not looking for ways to give opposite of what we want. So it's good that we give them an indication. And even though they may have given $1,000 last year, they may give to a lot of causes. And I've done enough research over the years to find out as much as we think that someone gave a gift to us that they may remember what that amount was, uh, especially if it was a significant amount. We may think, wow, someone gave 25000 last year. How could they forget that amount to us? But believe it or not, our partners many times write a gift, commensurate to what they're willing to give, and move on. And they don't always keep track of the amount that they give to us. So number one, it's important for you to remind them of that amount and secondly it it is just a great place to start because if you just leave it up to them give whatever you feel like oftentimes people will give less than we expect that they should give so giving them something that 
indicates to them, here's what our expectations are, is so important. And so what I would do is, again, I've talked many times about your critical few. I would be calling those people in October and then working my way back through the list through November asking for those critical few. And what I would do is I would start at least with 5 to 10% of the critical few. So remember, the critical few is 20% that brings in 80% of the dollars. So I would look to have a face-to-face -face meeting with at least 5 to 10% of that 20% to reach out to those people and meet with them face-to-face. -face. Now, if someone is completely across the country or across the world, I'm not asking that you try and meet with those people, although they may be your largest donor and it may be worth it for you to actually fly across country and meet with them at year end. But if if that's just impossible, a good phone, a phone call to people is well worth your time. And our world, we've shifted so much into a Zoom or Google um, meetings world where we can view someone right through the computer. Um, I would go ahead and utilize that option when you can because it really is a stronger connection and a stronger bond when you are going eyeball to eyeball, face to face with someone, even if it's through your computer. So make sure that you focus on those things. But Jack, as I said, I will be going more into details in the next two weeks on, uh, on the Development Effectiveness Strategies channel. So that ends our Q&A for the week. If you enjoyed what you heard, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to comment below and let me know what you thought of the video and the answer to this question. And if there were some things you felt like I needed to consider at your end that worked for you, uh, especially using a matching gift. And as I said, we'll talk more in detail about getting that initial gift, that seed money, which are a handful of people who are willing to put up your original amount that will be matched, uh, that will match the gifts of our donors, our larger group. I'll be letting you know about that in the next couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. And again, I appreciate you help us as we strive to increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. Take care. See you next week.